fine. Let's watch the intro. A long, long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, this is a story about Baby Mario and Yoshi. Presumably not a baby Yoshi. A store carries across a dusky, pre-dawn sky. In his bill, he supports a pair of twins. Which should be physically impossible, but whatever. Suddenly a shadow appears in a gap between the clouds. There's a lot of gaps. And races towards a stalk with a with blinding speed. You'd think with all that space in the air that you wouldn't run into each other. Oh, he's actually trying to steal the babies. Wow! Apparently I didn't drop them. Snatching only one baby, the creature vanishes. Into the darkness from whence it came. Here's a question. Why does Kamek feel the need to steal these babies? Is it ever established? The second baby falls undetected towards... The open sea. Oh no! But then it's okay, because he actually falls on an island. Meanwhile, here is Yoshi's Island. Home to all Yoshis. Except the ones that aren't here. It's a lovely day to start again. Huh? Suddenly a baby drops in onto his back. The baby seems to be fine. This is very fortunate. What? Something else fell with the baby. Apparently. Let's take a peek. It looks like a map. Maybe the stork was using it. Does that say GB2A? But Yoshi can't figure it out. Because he's illiterate. Or she. Or whatever. Yoshi decides to talk to his friends. Okay, so it is a he. Either way, they're still illiterate. Ack! Kamek the evil magic cooper and kidnapper of the baby quickly dispatches his toadies. when he discovers that he missed the other baby. Yoshi heads leisurely back to the other Yoshis. Obvious, obviously because that's what you do. Unaware of the danger at hand. Kamek's forces are actively searching the island. Will these two children ever reach their parents safely? Who knows? <laughs> oh, we're actually at the title screen. Uh, file 1. Fight! And this is them discussing which seems to involve just ducking down and looking side to side. This paradise is Yoshi's Island, where all the Yoshis live. They are all in an uproar over the baby that fell from the sky. And then the green Yoshi just grabs the baby. Wait, the baby seems to know where he wants to go. It's a baby, no he fucking doesn't. The bond between the two twins informs each of them where the other one is. Even though that's not how twins work, but sure. The Yoshis decide to carry the baby to his destination via a relay system. Now begins a new adventure for the Yoshis and baby Mario. It's the, uh... The 8 by Hang on, how many... It's the 8x6 relay? 8 stages per area? Oh, if baby Mario falls off Yoshi's back, the countdown timer will begin. 
When it reaches zero, Kamax Toadies will kidnap baby Mario. The more stars you collect, the safer you are. The countdown time will slowly count back up to 10. Complete a stage by passing baby Mario to the next Yoshi. Okay, hold to flutter. Um, hovering jump. By holding B down, you can hover in the air. For a short time, make the extra effort. Ah, oh, missed a couple of coins. Oh, the regular coins. Get some eggs. Uh, open this can of um, flying power. Sorry for the noise. Should have really opened that before I started. Uh, and also, turns out I am a bit darker, but the problem is if I open the other blind, it's going to be actually darker in the room, not lighter. Don't ask me how that works, that's just how it works. And technically there's actually a bonus stage, so I don't know how the relay system works there. Well, I think in one of the versions of the game, there's two bonus stages. I think the DS version of this game. But not the, um, not Yoshi's Island 2. Unless it is Yoshi's Island 2 I'm thinking of, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. And we'll get to Yoshi's Island 2 at some point, which is a bit different and wacky. I don't even recall how I came about to play it. I don't think... I owned it as a kid, but somehow I wound up playing it for like a weekend or something and never finished it. Anyway, 1-1. One, one. Make eggs, throw eggs. As opposed to get eggs, make omelettes. Making eggs. There's no tongue in this picture, by the way, it's just, you have a mouthful, and then you shit out an egg. Grab an enemy with Y, then press down to, on the control pad to make an egg. Now, try throwing the egg, pressing A. Um, there's not really anything to throw it at there. You can also spit out enemies to wail on dudes. Special flower. Gather five for a one-up. They add to your point total. They also add flowers to the gold ring roulette. Um, throwing eggs. Press A once and aim cursor. Oh, the aiming cursor will begin to move. Press A again to throw the egg. When you find question mark, hit it with an egg. Cool stuff will happen. To cancel the throw, press down on the control pad. We won't tell you about the... Oh, hang on. I forgot that guy just showed up out of the blue. Yeah, it's the right button that... Uh, actually, it's right or left to uh, stop the aim on. Uh, I think this tunnel... Does this go somewhere? It does. You just have to be in the right spot. What does this guy say? Chomp Rock is a useful object. Push it and it will roll, bowling over your enemies. If it gets stuck, stand on an edge on one edge and it will start rolling.
don't get hit by the shy guy. Alright. Can't have any more than six eggs or six items in that slot, so to speak. Get this rock over here, and let's go up the pipe. Out. Thank you. I'll throw you up at the cloud. And I'll grow ourselves a plant? Sunflower, that's it. We can get murdered. There's a hidden. Did that cloud despawn? I didn't really want to jump on either of those guys, but sure. That was peculiar any either way. Just despawning flowers. Alright, that's all the red coins. In each level, 20 red coins are hidden among the yellow ones. They each add one point to your score. Thank you. I would not have guessed. Uh, get wrecked, nerd. Oh, better be careful here. Alright. Um, I do have all the flowers already. I should have tossed him through the thing here. But no bonus stage. I don't think the bonus stages for the first area are even that good. And the only bonus stage worth a damn is uh, match cards. Match cards? I think it's called match cards. Dun, 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 dun. Now we're getting to the stage, whatever it's called. One, two, watch out. Below? They come from above, by the way, they don't come from below. I don't know why it says, watch out below. Is that what they shout? Wait for this guy to... Also, unlimited falling chomp guys, whatever they're called. This is the middle ring for this level. You may continue from here. Okay. What do you have to say? Do you remember? Press Y and down on something to make an egg. Press A to throw an egg. So they're already reminding you of stuff. Uh, I think you can go... Can you go in this pipe? No. Some of the pipes that make dudes... to try and grab that egg back, but oh, doesn't matter. Um, 
can go over here, grab some stuff. No biggie. Um, I wanted to hit this, but... Doesn't matter. There's actually another middle ring in this stage. Guess the stage lied to you. There's multiple mid rings in the game. Can I just hit this? Press start to display a score. To use special items, use left or right on the control pad to choose an item and press A. To exit, press B. You don't even really get items. Oh, another bubble. Oh, another thing in a box. You can morph into a helicopter by touching the helicopter bubble. Touch the Yoshi block in time and Baby Mario will be warped to Yoshi. Oh. Of course, if you're trying to get everything, unless you're really skilled, which is not me, by the way, but... Ooh. Mostly because this... I feel the controls are a bit stiff for the helicopter. He either whips off into the sunset, or he's chug chug chugging along. I gotta be careful. I don't think I don't think I can fall out of the stage here. Oh, there's nothing in here. I have to go up the middle one. I mean, I am way slow. Actually, is one of these buttons an accelerator? I forget. It's been... I think a year since I've played this. Yeah, I think... I think there is an accelerator. Yeah, nice try. Ah. Alright, I think I've got everything that I can get in this area. Oh, oh no, you can't fall out. That's okay. I'm thinking of the next helicopter zone. Can we hit that guy, please? It's pretty easy to get one-ups in this game. Um, oh, that's where I came d down. Or would have come down if I wasn't so slow. Oh, you're a, you're a piranha. I have to shoot you. Get everything? I did. There's a good chance I'll have to go back to some stages. So some stages, some of the items are in vague locations. So there is a chance I'll need to redo stages. This time, I wonder... The Cave of Chomp Rock. Uh, how do I shoot this thing again? By not being terrible. Okay, that's all I needed to know. This is going to tell me how to stomp, I think. Yeah, pound the ground. 
That's what what they call it. Pound the ground. Not a ground pound. Actually, do they call it a ground pound here? No, no, it's pound the ground. Quotations. Press down while in the air, Yoshi will pound the ground. This has many uses, and it rocks. Um, I don't know about it rocking, but it does have its uses. I don't think I actually need this rock, but I'm going to keep pushing it. And get hit for the first time in this playthrough. Which, suffice to say, will actually happen a lot. Oops, hang on. Weave my way down. Wait, uh-oh. Why'd it get stuck there? And what does this box have to tell me? Probably nothing. There are two controller configurations for throwing egg. Would you like to switch? No. Especially since it doesn't even explain here what the other configuration is. I think it explains later though what it is. There's these lantern holding ding dongs. A bunch of ding dongs. Alright, uh, I can push this. Way to miss, ding dong. Alright. Midways also turn dudes into stars if there's any dudes around. Uh, don't jump on top of these piranha boys because they'll just murder you one. Um, the key to that door is a bit further along. Also, eating that, the, uh, the spore cloud that the, um, dudes come in doesn't count as defeating them, so it will respawn. Um, alright, I'm just gonna pop the balloons like this. You can pop them without... Wait, that wasn't the key? Okay, um, I guess the key's in another box further along. Oh, it's in a thing by itself, that's what. Um. Fine, I'll shoot it out of the sky. Or try to. Wait, no. Oh. Alright, mini game. Uh, you throw balloons. To throw the balloon, key in the button sequences as shown. The game time is unlimited. If the balloon pops on you, then you lose. The game time is random. Uh, the first three um, areas, it's a, it's a four button combination. Areas four and five, it's a five button combination. And area six, it's a six button combination. I think that's how it works. It might be the first two, four, the second two, five, and the third two, six. Anyway, collect an item if you win. They always get to start. Uh, B, left B, X. Oh, wait. X is that button. Uh, down A, down Y. Uh, a left, A left. The balloon just sort of pops at a random time. There's a very good chance that you'll lose, because that's... 
That's how this game is rigged. Um, X, up, X. Yeah, it missed. Barely. But that, that particular game is rigged anyway. Probably only have a... Uh, really? Oh yeah, all the enemies respawn as well, because why not? Oh, I can't eat things through. Piss off, Lantern Boy. I need... Uh, that won't give me... Um... Actually, I'll even shoot just to show you, but it shouldn't give me star. Oh, no, it does. Oh, okay. I could have sworn it would not have um, given me um, thingos again. I thought it would just be empty, but I hmm, guess not. Alright, push this rock down. Let it crush him. I need more. I need two more flowers and three more coins. I think they're all outside. Oh, there's one right here, so... They're not all outside. Secret area! Or as close as you're gonna get to a secret area. I think this is just coins. There aren't any red coins or anything like that. So all you're doing is just getting more lives. Oh, I missed a coin. Oh well. I'm not too worried about lives at this stage. Otherwise, yeah, you can't jump up there. Actually, you can use an enemy to jump up there. And that's everything, as long as we don't get hit and lose stars. Which is possible, because I think there's a piranha plant. Yeah, there's a piranha plant here. You just bonk him on the head. Oh, there's two. I forgot there was a second one. No bonus stages so far. That's, uh... That's bothersome. Oh well. What's this guy's name again? Bashful Birdie? Bert the Bashful's Fort. That's his name. These buckets just have... Oh. I didn't hit it well enough. Really? Yeah, it just has coins in them. This door falls. You can't eat those guys in there. Oh, I almost got crushed. Uh, these guys you can shoot. Oops. Um, 
Um, you can shoot this rock and go up here. I think it's just coins, so there's nothing special up here. And you can go the other way, too, if you like. Whatever tickles your fancy. Uh, don't fall down there. I do believe... Am I actually running, or does it just seem like I'm running? Jump over the rocks up here. You can basically skip the whole first section. And we're going back for the rest of it. So, no fear there. Uh, I have one egg? And also crush these guys like that. He's gonna fall. In oh, really? Christ! Can I? Can I get like egg refill before he comes back and destroys me? Alright, he's gone. Chris, I really... I'm not... big on the flooded jump. Alright. In the pipe. We're up to the second part. Which is more falling doors. I don't think there's any tricky shenanigans at this point in the game. Oh, there's the mini flamo dudes. Alright, I gotta put this down. Frankie, how do I get up there? I know I can. And I got up there and then fell immediately because you can just clip through the floor like that. Ooh. I thought I was going to get hit there. Uh, I think I have to go in... Here? And what's... Oh, this is a bonus room. Hang on. And you can't shoot these guys or eat them. They're not especially tasty. In fact, this just seems to be a room full of more coins. I don't think there's any red coins in here. Yeah, there's no red coins in this room. It's just if you want, like, a one-up. Um, back out the pipe. Uh, we need a key here. And you gotta watch out for lava guy. Smash the face. Oh, I could have grabbed an egg. Oh, well. More eggs here. Uh, what's in here again? Oh, yeah. Uh, don't accidentally exit before you've killed all these guys, because you can do that. That's where that flower is. I'm out of eggs, though. Can you 
turn around, please? Alright, thank you. Do I have everything? I do. I don't have any star power-ups to give me extra stars, so I have to make sure I don't get hit. Otherwise, we have to do the whole stage again. So, you're still on the baby side. Yoshi baby? Then get the load of this. This is not Yoshi baby, this is just a regular ass Yoshi. Unless he's like, Yoshi baby, why don't you switch to my side? I never like trying to first one-shot this boss. This guy is actually one of the more annoying ones to one-shot. Nope. Hide. 20 minutes. He does do bigger jumps as well. Oh, is that it? Oh, that's it. He exploded from his bashfulness. Alright. And just like that, stage five. This is actually, I suppose, like, I've seen speedruns of this game, and it takes them, like, a couple of hours to speedrun 100% the entire off. There is, like, that, that's why they should have put Nintendo physics in this game. Like, you're gonna have a hard time jumping. That's what they should have made this. You're gonna have a hard time jumping. Alright, that's all the hard- I think that's all the hard bits done. This is actually like one of the hardest stages in the game. I mean, not really. But... Now you gotta wait till it comes back. Da, 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 da. Remember that there's ice physics in this stage, 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 stage. This stage has ice physics. I don't think it's a terribly long stage, thankfully. Um, I thought there was a hidden one. Maybe it's this alcove. I swear one of these alcoves had a. I think there's one more cloud that has... That's right, the donuts don't come back either. Um, but we got everything. 
That's just a very frustrating stage for a beginner level. Get no bonus stage. I don't know how you get them. And it is... Actually, I want to say it's not random. I know that the any percent speedrun deliberately avoids flowers so they don't get bonus stages because then it would be slow, but I think there's also a way to avoid it. Anyway, shy guys on stilts. Ooh, wacky. That's probably the only stage name I remember. So you have to bop him on the head in order to get them to not be on stilts. Got a one up. Because we gotta get all those one ups back. Well, this guy tells you about eggs. Yellow eggs create coins, red eggs create two stars, flashing eggs? Who knows? I don't. Hit an enemy to receive these prizes. Oh, wait, how do they pick up the flashing? Oh, the f I think the flashing one's in the middle. I was like, why did I get a flashing one f before the star making one? Oh, the flashing ones make co um, red coins, by the way. Um, so they don't really appear that often. Yellow eggs are pretty common. And also, yes, this cave is dark. Because it's a cave. Uh, I gotta line this thing up. Oh, that's right, there's a thing over there. Can I go in this? You can go in this. So some of the, um... Some of the pipes that spit out enemies you can go into. And they'll generate two dudes instead of one, if I recall. Now I have to shoot this again, but that's okay. Nom. Oh, there's... A couple of lantern boys up ahead. This will take me outside briefly. Is there anything? Take that star back. And then immediately lose it. Get here now, baby. Alright. Gonna grab things quickly or they'll fade away. Say. Step on switch when you find it. Here you'll find a secret entrance. By the way, remember that other stage that had a switch? Yeah, we didn't tell you about it then for some reason. In fact, like seriously, why doesn't it tell you about the switch when it first shows it to you? 
Oh, excuse me. Actually, I think there's something in here, that's why. Oh, hang on. Let's read the box. Morph into the mole tank. Here, dig like mad to find two red coins. Ah, see, there is actually something in here this time. I also have to remember where the red coins are, which I don't. Also, I got stuck on the wall for some reason. Alright, there's only the two. I don't believe there's anything hidden in here, but I don't think it's relevant anyway, so... Let me pop up back here. Um... Christ. They're everywhere. I already know how to ground pound, why do you need to tell me again? I forget which ones still have relevant information at this point, because some of them at this point just are like, yeah. Just a reminder, you can ground pound. And do other things. Ah. Uh, bats. Also, it's slightly brighter in this cave. Um, ricochet shot. They give you plenty of chances at it though, so that's something. Uh, there should be a seed there. Uh, we got everything, so let's... Exit the stage. Uh, is this an extra life of stars? Well, it's coins, but it would have been... Oh! I was supposed to eat that balloon to get a one-up. Doesn't matter, who cares. Still no bonus stage. Because that's how, I, how good I am at getting bonus stages. Miss every time. Now if I was speedrunning this game, I'd think that were a good thing. I have seen the 100% speedrun of this game, it's pretty insane, to suffice to say. Uh, touch fuzzy, get dizzy. I think this is the first stage I usually have a bit of trouble finding everything. Because some of them it's just in weird places. I think that's how you're supposed to get that. Really? Uh, apparently I couldn't just shoot it, uh, use this guy to take care of it. That's right, there's two flashy eggs in this stage. Just for reasons. Alright, got the red coins off them. Now I have to use my brain. So I think there's a secret area with stuff that I want. <clears throat> Gonna give me the next guy? Thank you. Hmm. 
Nothing up there. Um, somewhere in this mess, yeah, there's a key. Oh, this one's gather coins. This one's actually pretty easy. And at least there's an actual timer. A cloud. So this will turn enemies into clouds, and then those clouds will give you various things. Some of them actually just give you coins. Um, but I need to use... Pause... I need to use the loot. Alright, we are back. I'm just thinking, is there anything else here? I don't think so. I just have to rem I'm trying to remember, because this stage is one of those stages that is a bit weird, and there's just like arbitrary places so you can go. Also, that's how you get dizzy. Normal- well, normally you just go about your business. Can I? All right. Now that we've demonstrated that, let's try not to get dizzy again. Um, you can't get eggs from them either. Hey, Jesus. Well, we're just gonna be... Can we... Can we... Calm down. Alright, we got it. 
We got all the flowers, we're missing like a ton of red coins. I'm trying to remember if they're all over this way or not. Yeah, I think they are. Hang on. So there's those two there. You can ground pound to get into here. There's two more in here. Well, one more in there. Then there's... This. And this will take you to the... I'm pretty sure the rest of the red coins. I'm pretty sure. But I think I have to do some- yeah, I have to reveal another secret. Cloud. That'll grow a seed. That'll take you upwards. And I'll look! The rest of the red coins. I all I almost always forget about this area because it's not it's kind of obvious, but it's kinda of not obvious that it's there. So yeah, this log, shoot up, a thing will be revealed. And then you can jump up there for the rest of the red coins. Not a single bonus stage for this, um, world, or area. Hundred percent on everything so far, though. As we enter... What's this guy's castle called? Salvo the Slime's Castle. Spinning blocks, more. They, st they stuck a lot of red coins at the very start of this area. Like, I've already got 13 of 20. Very, very generous of them. And there's this noise. Um... Oh, there's another flower there. Let's get this one first, the one we saw earlier. Go back in this room. Now, is this the way to go normally? Uh, well, it's where the checkpoint is. So, it's sort of the way to go. And then you drop down here. Now what does this guy have to say? Hit the block to the right with an egg and some platforms will flip. By the way, you don't have to hit it with an egg. You just hit it. Flower there, there's a ding dong that will try and steal your baby. Uh, no, it's not a dingo, but it may as well be. Alright, that's how you get those eggs. Actually, that's one way you can get those eggs. It's not necessarily the way to do it, it's just a way to do it. Uh, I think 
I'm obliged to flip this. And then you flip it back. Uh, I have to go to that pot. Oh, I got all the red coins somehow. More eggs. Wait. Oh! You meant to... You meant to shoot the thing so you can go up there. Oh, don't... Don't shoot the text box. Flip this. Wait, what? Do I have to... Oh, I have to flip... I think I have to flip this one. Because they're different colours. Duh. Don't jump into the thing, you... That's how you're supposed to do this section. Actually, yeah, that's definitely how you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to just wander along these as well. I'm an idiot. Oh well. That's just another day... Oh, I didn't actually go on the door. Definite idiot. Alright. Need these. Move them to wherever you want. Jump around. There's a spare one if you want it. Actually, I think it's in case you restart from the checkpoint. And voila! You have to walk through a small corridor and then get blocked off. I think there's a way to kill it with it without getting this cutscene. I know there is, I know that one of the later bosses you can defeat before um, starting the fight. Anyway, hi there, cute little Yoshi. Does Baby Mario want to go to Bowser's castle? I'll take him there in a hurry. Tee hee hee. Um, no thanks. I I don't want your help. Just like that, he's down. And it looks like I'm farting stars. And Mario just has the strength to carry that big ass key. A hundred on every stage! Well, not every stage, because the, the bonus stage will open up now that we've got the um, perfect score. Does it open up the, uh, the bonus game? It does. Um, oh. Because it does force us to automatically go to the next area, so I think I'll do the extra stages after I finish the main game. In part because some of the extra stages are really 